Hey, what is going on, Fan Clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful weekend so far. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody. Uh, lately, it's just been absolutely nuts. All the likes, all the comments, all the new subscribers, welcome. And thank you very, very much for your support. It means everything to me. You guys are truly, truly amazing. I want to talk to you guys about Bulk tonight, Pokemon Bulk in specific. We haven't talked about it for quite some time, uh, but we have spent some time on it in the past. And I want to talk to you about making sure that you're finding the most value out of your Bulk because I think a lot of times people aren't necessarily sorting through their cards properly and they're losing value. And that value is something that you can use to your advantage, whether it be trading to add pieces to your collection or selling some of those more valuable cards on websites like TCG Player or eBay or Amazon or some other outlets. That way you can make sure you pocket the most uh, value to add to your collection later on. And I think that's very, very important as you continue to build uh, up your collection, especially right now, right? Like as things continue to be tougher, um, it, as things become less and less available or as some things can be harder to get a hold of, it's good to make sure that you're kind of doing what you can to make sure that these items that you need to add to your collection aren't costing the maximum amount. Uh, you're doing what you can to kind of bring that cost down a little bit. I think that's super, super important. But to start things off, I do want to talk about Pokemon Bulk and just kind of give you an idea of what it all is. Uh, Pokemon Bulk, Bulk is all that extra uh, of your collection, all those extra cards that you don't necessarily need, right? So if you're somebody who collects Master Sets or you're somebody who collects uh, just to play competitively, all those duplicates, triplicates, quadruplicates, whatever it may be, you know, there's commons, uncommons, rares that you may have 10, 15, 20 extras of that you don't necessarily need, and you just kind of throw them in a box you know, not, not sure what to do with them. Well, there's a few different options that you have. You can trade uh, your Pokemon Bulk. There's a lot of companies out there that do accept trade. Uh, for example, the Coliseum, which is the company that I'm a part of. We're accepting trade right now for Bulk for commons and uncommons. If you want to trade in 3,000 of them, you can get a Battle Styles booster box. If you want to trade in 3,500 of them, you can get a Chilling Rain booster box uh, as far as pre-orders go, which is pretty cool. Uh, but there's other companies that do the same thing or do a very, very similar thing like Troll and Toad, Collector's Cache, Cool Stuff Inc. There's a lot of different ones out there. You can also sell your bulk. There's a lot of different companies out there that did have different rates uh, for how much they pay for each rarity. So whether it be a, a common or uncommon, there's a set price that they pay for those. And then rares, reverse hollows, uh, uh, hollow rares, GXs, Vs, you know, you name it. There's a different price point for every single rarity. So that way you can kind of unload a lot of those to kind of add to your collection if they're just excess right now and you don't want to take the time to keep piecing out every single piece. Uh, but there are some cards that when you're sorting through your bulk, you want to make sure you pull out so that way you're obtaining the maximum value for them. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do to kind of get an idea of what those all are. Uh, but for example, like this Galarian Slowbro, um, from uh, the most recent set from Battle Styles, right? So this Galarian Slowbro is basically just a bulk rare, so this is going to sell anywhere from 10 to 15 cents. Whether you sell it on its lonesome or you sell it in bulk, you're also going to be getting anywhere between 8, 9, 10 cents for it. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to kind of just sell it on its own, right? It just, it's not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth the shipping. It's not worth the stamp. It's not worth anything like that. But there are rares, there are hollows out there that do have more value associated with them, whether it be, you know, a couple dollars a piece all the way up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a piece that you want to make sure that you're not necessarily trading in or selling off as bulk uh, because you could be utilizing that value to either sell or trade to kind of maximize your collection. So I am going to switch things over to our handy dandy TCG player website. So if you haven't gone to tcgplayer.com, I've talked about it a lot of times in the past. I highly recommend going in, setting up an account, even if you're somebody who doesn't necessarily look at selling cards right now, it may be something that you wanna do in the future. TCG player is an opportunity for everybody to sell cards. Uh, you don't have to be a storefront, you don't have to be a, a vendor necessarily to sell on TCG player, and you definitely don't need to be to buy on TCG player. This is kind of like a hub in the United States where you can take advantage of a lot of different card listings that are out there, it really gives you an understanding of what the market is like. Uh, but when you go to tcgplayer.com and you kind of hover over the Pokemon tab here, you can see all the latest sets that are available right now. And there's a lot of pre-orders that are up here right now. So when I reference uh, market price and things like that, I'm usually getting that information from TCG Player. But what I like to do is I like to go over to the advanced search section. And right now, in the past, I have kind of talked to you guys about kind of just searching for everything and then looking at the best selling items. Since Pokemon has been so crazy lately, and a lot of people who have come into the game have been focusing a lot lot on vintage, your best selling products are vintage products and a lot of it is sealed products since competitive play isn't going on right now. This is a whole different ball game when competitive play is going on. So we may 
not have to worry about a whole lot of that yet this year, but as regional events start back up at the beginning of 2022, um, you're going to start seeing the, the best selling of everything to be a lot more staples, a lot more competitive cards and things like that as those competitive players are starting to get things for their decks. But I would still go to the advanced section on TCG Player and you can kind of really start narrowing things down to give you an understanding of where things are in the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the checkbox for Hollow Rare and I'm going to click the checkbox for Rare. And then I'm just going to go down and I'm going to or I'm going to go up and I'm just going to go to search here. And that's going to search all of the Hollow Rares and all of the Rares that are in uh, TCG player for Pokemon and I'm going to sort the products by best selling now again You're gonna have a lot of products in here that are vintage But you are gonna start noticing some that are not necessarily vintage uh, some that are from more recent sets So we're gonna scroll down here and you can add filters on the left hand side here If you kind of want to get rid of some of those older vintage sets uh, So you could go through you know and look at battle styles and you can check all the sword and shield sets or you can check all the Sun and moon sets uh, but we've got a boss's orders rare here, so it's a popular selling card, a popular selling rare, but it's only selling for you know three cents uh, plus shipping, which isn't too much. You're not going to worry too much about that. But like this Charizard here, this uh, cracked ice deck exclusive Charizard is selling for thirteen to fourteen dollars. Now I don't think anybody necessarily is going to be putting that in their bulk, but a card like Snorlax from Vivid Voltage that might be a hollow rare that you do have in your bulk because you're not thinking about pulling out a lot of those extra Snorlaxes. Now this card is selling for about $2 a piece on the low end and market price of $2.80. So it's kind of an important card to be pulling out because it's worth a couple dollars. So you don't necessarily want to be giving that away, you know, for 15 cents. Uh, you also have the lily pad Mew here from XY Evolutions. The hollow rare is selling for anywhere between $2.50. That's probably for a damage copy. You're probably going to be able to move that for about five, six dollars, whether it be sale or trade, which is actually very good. Mew from Unbroken Bonds is a card that a lot of times people might throw in their bulk because they have excess of. It's got a really great ability with this bench barrier ability. And the lowest one right now on TCG Player is selling for seven dollars. That's worth a lot more than a lot of GXs and a lot of V cards that are out there. So it's definitely something that you want to pull out of your bulk and this is something that you want to look at uh, not necessarily daily but probably weekly you want to look and just see if there's any updates that have been made or anything in here that's starting to kind of note you're starting to kind of notice a trend is increasing in value because you want to make sure that you're sorting through your bulk you have a good idea of what's in there and you're pulling out cards as they kind of obtain value this is also something that's a really good tool and a really good thing to look at if you're somebody who does sell on tcg player or you are somebody who's looking at uh, starting your own card shop or you already have your own brick and mortar or your own uh Website presence. It's something that you want to make sure you're looking at to kind of see what's hot and what's going on out there. Uh, Charizard, the team up rare. I've seen a lot of these in bulk in the past. Uh, these are selling for about $6 a piece. Rosa has been extremely expensive for a long time now, ever since it came out. This is one of the first holographic uh, trainer cards that we've had in quite some time when it came out in Cosmic Eclipse. Those are selling for about $6 a piece. Uh, and then you have, what was the other one that I wanted to point out? You have Lugia here that is selling from Vivid Voltage. That's selling for about a dollar. Uh, you have uh, Bronzong from Battle Styles that's selling for about a dollar. And granted, these aren't huge values that you want to necessarily worry about. It's not going to you know make or break you. Uh, but these are still important cards that you definitely want to pull out because there is some value attached to it. And probably some cards that you wouldn't even think had value, like uh, this Toxicroak from Sword and Shield base set is selling for about $2 a piece. That's probably not a card that you thought was going to have any value to it outside of bulk, but it does have a little value associated with it, and that's why it's an important card to pull out. So definitely take the time to kind of go through, you know, the first 10, 15 pages or so, just to get an idea of what's out there. Another thing that I like to do is go to the advanced search here, and I really like looking at trainers and energy cards that are out there because those are the cards that a lot of collector or a lot of players are going to be using for deck building so you want to look at your energy cards and item cards stadium supporter and tool but the key that you want to do with this is you want to make sure that you click either uncommon uh, and hollow rare you don't want to click the you don't want to just search for all of the energy item stadium supporter and tool because when you sort by best selling you're going to be getting a lot of cards that are of the ultra rare variety a lot of those full art supporters and then you're going to be looking at a lot of pages of cards that you already expect to be worth value so you want to look at uncommons and hollow rares because pretty much every single trainer is going to be an uncommon card outside of a few that are going to be hollow rares uh, and then you're going to want to go down and you're just going to, want to hit the search again 
and we're going to leave it sorted by best selling and you can see right away this is kind of narrowing all these cards down that a lot of you guys probably have in bulk especially if you're a collector you probably don't focus a whole lot on trainers and realize that there is value associated with them but this capture energy uh, from rebel clash is selling anywhere from a dollar fifty to the market price is 289 so you're probably looking at 2 250 uh, on any given day for a capture energy which you probably have quite a few of same thing with this weakness guard energy which is selling for right around three dollars uh, that's a good card to be pulling out cherish ball has really started to climb in value over the past few months that's a 250 to a three dollar card and these are important cards just to kind of keep looking at uh, pokemon communication has gone up quite a bit in value it was so mass printed and it was down to about 10 15 cents a piece but now it's closer to that dollar mark and again these dollars add up over time especially if you're somebody who's looking to add pieces to your collection metal goggles is selling for about two dollars a piece that's held for pretty strong here and then you can just kind of sort through all these different pages to get an idea of what's out there and what everything is selling for uh, you have uh, cards like dive ball which is selling for a dollar a piece some of these cards have just been so mass printed so even though they're a, a staple in many decks and there are four of in many decks like cynthia and, K and caitlin or chaotic swell which is you know can be a popular deck card or welder which is a very popular deck card they've been printed so many times that there's just not going to be a whole lot of value associated with them uh, but then there's i mean if you go just to the the fourth page here you can see just different cards that you might have in your in your bulk boxes uh, dark city is selling for a dollar fifty a piece uh, and some of these older cards that you might have, you know, excess excess amounts of, like Call Energy is selling for, look at that, $17.50. It's just an older special energy card. It's an uncommon, but it's selling for $17.50 a piece, which is actually, you know, fairly good money, especially if you're somebody who's looking at adding cards to your collection, or if you're somebody who's looking at filling out master sets, the equivalent of a card like call energy which is selling for almost $18 uh, the amount of GX's or V's that that could buy is actually a fairly decent amount so it's something that you definitely want to pay attention to and again this isn't something that you want to check every day but it's a very good idea to check on a weekly basis just to get an idea of what your collection is actually worth and what you can pull out to kind of maximize that collection uh, and that's really what these these videos are all about you know making sure you're pulling out these extra cards and not selling them or trading them in your bulk boxes so that way you can use them to kind to keep growing your collection and building it to its, its best potential and that's why I think these videos are important so I'm not going to go too much into every single page that's on here again I recommend going through 10 15 pages because those are the the cards that are selling the most frequently on TCG player and TCG players are a good resource because there are a lot of cards that move on a daily basis through that website so it's important to look at and like I said just look at it on a weekly basis you know take 10 15 minutes to just kind of sort through get an understanding of what's all in there so that way when you do sort through your bulk boxes you can at least know what you're looking for to pull out so that way when you trade in or sell off that bulk you're not getting rid of, getting rid of those cards that have values associated with them so i hope you guys enjoy that um, if you have any questions definitely let me know thank you so much for everything again make sure you hit that like button down below leave a thumbs up and leave a comment it goes really far with the algorithm and if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that red box down below uh, make sure it's not lit up and that it grays out and that means you're subscribed to the channel turn on those notifications you guys are awesome you know what to do i really really appreciate you guys so much so thank you for everything and until next time peace